Hi and welcome to another video. Today we will learn how to do this 3D cube animation inside of After Effects, obviously without using any kind of 3D materials here. So without further ado, let's get started with the video. First of all, while creating a new composition, I'll go with 1920 into 1080p. Let's keep it at 60 frames per second for now. Hit OK. Now what we'll do, since we have a background, we'll create a new solid. So we go to right click here, create new, go to solid and create a new solid which is of width 300 and height 300. We'll make it white in color. So we have created the solid. Now just go in, inside the solid, double click on it. You will see white solid pop up here over here. And now you go to the rectangle tool and just double click on it. So you'll see a mask that has been created over here. Now again, go back to your main composition. You'll see the mask over here, right? Now we need strokes for it. So what we'll do, we'll go to effects and presets and search for stroke. So we'll see generate stroke. Just drag it over this white solid and uh, you should select the path as mask one, color as white or any other color you like brush size as your stroke size and just change the paint style to on transparent and then you should be able to see your stroke so here it is uh, our brush size 4.4 i'll make it 4 for easier use now we will create a 3d out of this right so what we need to do is basically make this 3d so once we make this 3d we'll be able to rotate it right press r on the keyboard so rotation pops up now we'll be able to rotate it like this okay so just switch your camera view from active to custom view one also make sure that classic 3d is selected and not cinema 4d because this will not work with cinema 4d and as soon as you click custom view one you will see that there has been some banding on the lines of the stroke so to fix that you need to rasterize this layer so this this button you see over here just click on this this is called collapse transformations so now you'll see the stroke back again to the normal size so once we have this we will just duplicate it four times first time duplicate it select this one go to this tool this is called the pan behind tool this will help you move your anchor point while holding shift on a keyboard just drag the anchor point over here so that you just drag it to the edge right you can just zoom in as well you see it has been dragged to this edge now you can rotate it y rotation should be set to minus 90 and you'll see that it has created one more side right so now just duplicate this and then select the move tool or the selection tool and just move it like this over here make sure snapping is on so that it's easier for you to move it also move it while holding shift so that it does not get disoriented this is the most critical part once you do this there is really nothing except for animating the cube so we just have the last side which is this side we will duplicate it again and this will go back and it should snap right in now we have the entire cube now you can switch to front view and you'll see only a square because this is a 3d plane right now select everything here right click and go to pre-compose make it a 3d cube right now again you'll have to turn on 3d and collapse transformations for this layer so that there is no loss of information over here and now again if you go to custom v1 you'll be able to see the whole cube go to the front and then animate as you like so what we will do we'll do a pop and rotate animation so it will come from the bottom and then rotate and then fall down right like you know start with the position animation press on this layer and uh, like you know click on this layer and press p on the keyboard this will pop up position will pop up over here so we will go to the first frame of the video and just create a keyframe there and advance down 30 frames on the timeline and then create a keyframe over here so this is right right in the center okay so before i create the keyframes forgot one very important thing you need to first of all you know anchor the anchor point of this whole thing should be in the center right so we will have to make it in the 3d plane center 
so to do that we need to go to the pan behind tool and just shift the anchor point to the center yes it's in the center currently so we can go back to our active camera and now we will reset all the rotations we have done cool yeah so i'm back and i have like you know fine-tuned the animation a little you can experiment and see how you want the cube to go up and fall like you know maybe this is not the right tutorial for you to understand making the cube fall and all that but it's a very easy and quick tutorial just to make you understand how a 3d cube works in after effects and how you can easily do it like when you have a 2d layer and you do not really have a lot of time to like you know work in 3d so this was a very quick and easy tutorial not a lot of fancy animations and stuff just basics to make you understand how these kind of 3d things work where it looks like 3d but it's really not so i hope this video has helped you I really had fun making this video so if you like this video hit the like button and maybe subscribe to my channel for more such awesome content. Thank you very much for watching this has been Satyajit see you in the next one bye bye.